Hello again and welcome back to Japan. And today, uh, what I guess you could say is quite an important reaction because on this channel, uh, well, you, you might know, we started off with a radio show and then we moved over to doing, uh, putting the blogs on YouTube and doing reactions as well. And one of the artists who we first posted on YouTube about was 1OK Rock. And let's put it this way, we had some really good fan input from people talking to us, and we had some who were really offended. You wouldn't believe the number of thumbs downs we got. Fair enough. I thought it was funny. They didn't. Anyway, we then did a couple more reviews where we were much more careful, and we still got a lot of thumbs down. So I'm not holding out hopes on this one. But on this channel, we're honest. Even with the artists I really like, I tried to pick holes in them. So, this one is just me, no James this time, so maybe that'll make people like it more. And I'm going to be checking out what I believe is their new song, This Is Wasted Nights. Now, just to quickly cover, from talking to some of the fans who were more communicative, um, there was a whole issue of the fact that um, some people are unhappy with the fact that 1OK Rock are trying to move more towards the American market and trying to have more of a sort of pop American sound. Um, but this is something where, um, as we were discussing on the show before, uh, I think that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with doing poppier music. Um, I do think that as a band, they've always had kind of a Western sound. I mean, I t I'm not like a, a huge 1OK Rock fan, but I've got a couple of CDs and I've, I've, I've never sort of thought that they were you know, the most Japanese sounding rock band, they to me sound like they already belong in that sort of Western market, which is, you know, so why not pursue it? So I'm interested to see how this goes. I mean, obviously it's got an English name anyway, Wasted Night, so I'm assuming it's going to be playing in that direction. Here we go. It was really, really good, like, anthemic song. Um, I think they played a lot to what they do best, and like I say, if they're doing this sort of a rock band with pop appeal and they're doing a fantastic job of it. Um, in my personal opinion, I, like I say, I think the only problem with this and this sound that they are currently going for is it does kind of put them into a very large field where uh, unfortunately I think that when you're doing something poppy it, it can make you part of that uh, there's like a pop formula so it becomes much harder to stand out. So when I'm listening to this I'm thinking well this is a good song but I always think the good measure is, would I listen to it again and again and again? And I hear it and I think, well, I wouldn't skip it. But then afterwards, it would make me want to listen to lots of other songs that are like this. So it doesn't sort of stand out as being something particularly unique. It just stands out as being, well, it just is very good at being what it is. So I think, yeah, once again, they're scoring really good points at just being a very good radio friendly, enjoyable band. The video is nice because it conveys that there's a lot of feeling in the video, it comes across like it's got a lot of heart. So I think that's a positive thing and I am therefore going to give this a positive review. I still expect thumbs down, but <laughs> I'm going to give this a positive review in that sense. I would personally, having heard 1OK Rock over a number of years, I personally would like to hear them sprinkle this sort of thing with some really standout songs as well. And maybe this is my fault for not having listened to any of the more recent albums. Maybe in between the songs that the record company want to put forward as the singles, maybe they've got those more uh, standout, unique songs. But for taking this for what it is, a single, a poppy single, it's great. I loved as well that he mixed in the two languages, having Japanese and English just made it, um, gave it something actually which was more them. Although that's not necessarily a musical thing, it does again show there's a lot of heart behind this and they have got a lot of um, good, good intention, I think it probably has. It sounds like damning with faint praise, but honestly, uh, um, yeah, they've sort of got a good heart behind it. Anyway, as usual, feel free to comment and debate me. If you're going to press thumbs down, remember to comment and tell me why. And I will see you next time in Japan. Maybe I'll do more on OK Rock. <gasps> what do you think?